Hi, I'm Aaron Cutler. And I'm Shelby Dadswell. And this is Studio 143 News. Today we will be covering the new year, Madres, and how to get back in the groove. Studio 143 News. Now to Leah Canfield with the new year. Hi, I'm Leah Canfield from Studio 143 News, and this week I'll be covering New Year's. On December 31st, many people gather around waiting for the ball to drop with their friends and family. When the ball drops, bringing in 2017, some people start the new year with a kiss from their significant other, and some start the new year spending time with the ones that matter. Many people start the new year with resolutions. These are some of our very own Greyhounds resolutions. Probably be to help people more often. Uh, my new year's resolution is to be a stronger athlete and do better in my sports. New year's resolutions, I have two of them. One is to not make as many students cry during class. And the second one is the cliche, I did join Weight Watchers and I'm hoping to lose quite a bit of weight. 2016 has been great, but here's to the new year. Back to the studio with Shelby Dadswell. Thank you, Leah Canfield, and happy new year, Greyhounds. Now to Aubrey Benward with Madres, the new restaurant in town. Hi, my name is Aubrey Benward, and this week I will be covering our local Mexican restaurant, Madres. Madres has recently relocated to a building on Main Street in Hamlin Square, which has caused it to grab the more attention from local citizens. Madres is the only Mexican restaurant in town, which makes it a pretty popular place to eat on a Friday night. Their new location is very spacious and inviting. I guess it's the sense of community. Um, it's nice to know people's names. Then those are things that you can't really get in big cities. Um, we get the same people over and over again, um, which that makes us feel good to have people that come back. I would say my favorite thing is probably their street tacos. This has been Aubrey Benward, Studio 143 News. Back to the studio. Thank you, Aubrey Benward. And make sure you check out Madres for some excellent food. Now to Aaron Cutler with how to get back in the groove. Hi, I'm Erin Cutler, and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to get back into the groove after winter break. Many people find it really difficult to come back from winter break. First off, go to bed at a decent time. Staying up late can really tire you out during the day, making your school day much worse than it needs to be. Secondly, eat a healthy breakfast in the morning. It will fuel your body and make your school day more bearable. Lastly, stay positive. Staying positive can motivate you to do better and make your day a little bit sweeter. Think of it this way, winter break is over, but spring break is closer than you think. Um, it was hard going from staying up every night then having to wake up early. It was hard to come back from winter break because my sleep schedule is all messed up. I'm going to recover from winter break by eating a healthy breakfast. I hope I can get you greyhounds back into the groove. This has been Aaron Cutler with Studio 143 News. Now back to the studio. The junior class is proud to announce that this year's prom theme is The Great Gatsby. Ticket sales start May 1st. I'm Erin Cutler, and I'm Shelby Dadswell, and we are... We are! What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to show a little bit more emotion in my life. <laughs> Just kidding! 